What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now I had to touch on the subject. My big mouth, like Tupac said, my big mouth. I can't help it. So I got to get this off my chest, talk about this subject. And it's regarding Floyd Mayweather and his interviewing skills or lack thereof. Now, he recently did a CNN interview with Rachel Nichols. Now, I'm going to give you the good, bad, and the ugly. Rachel Nichols just completely had an ambush style of questioning. You could tell it didn't look like she was interested in the truth. Now, before I keep going, the interview link is in the description of this video. So make sure you check it out before you um, So pause my video, open up another window, and then go check out the interview and then come back to my shit. And she just completely ambushed him. She was talking to him like he was on the stand in court and she was the DA or some shit. So it was totally un, um, unneeded, if you will. But this is what reporters do. A lot of times these reporters, they want to drill you and grill you. It's good for ratings. And um, there are certain celebrities they know they're going to get a rise out of. They know they're going to get a reaction out of them by putting it on thick and, you know what I mean, asking them and drilling, grilling them and all that. Um, recently, we've seen it in Canada with Mike Tyson. They're asking Mike Tyson purely about his one-man show. Tyson was out in Canada performing and promoting that. And out of nowhere, he's like, so uh, tell us about the show. He's like, yeah, I got, I got a one-man show, and um, we, we're happy to be in Canada. And then all of a sudden, he said, yeah, you, you met up with the mayor the other day. How is that going to look since the mayor was with a convicted rapist? Like, what in the fuck does that have to do with Mike Tyson's current career, what he's there for on your fucking show? You know what I'm saying? It's just completely outlandish and out of line. And... I hate to pull the race card, but it could be a race thing. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of people. Rob Lowe, I think he had some prostitutes in back in his day. Prostitutes in the hotel room or some minors underage. He was fucking them, making sex tapes, weird shit like that. Or even Robert Downey, Downey Jr. We all know and love Robert Downey Jr. Like, oh, Iron Man. But if you go back into his files, he was a party. He was a party maniac. You know what I'm saying? He was doing blow and he was doing stints in rehab. And he, he just, you know what I mean? Coked out and... Stuff like that. And I never see reporters really chastise certain people. Like Robert Downey Jr. If they're promoting Iron Man 3, they ask Marvel-ass Iron Man 3, Tony Stark-ass questions. They're like, Robert Downey Jr., tell us about how it was meeting Stan Lee or being Iron Man, a superhero. You know what I mean? I never really see reporters ask some of the stuff that they ask these boxers or people like Kanye West and shit, you know what I mean, people that they know are, are finna go off, um, they don't get Robert Downey Jr. and be like, yeah, when you was in the Iron Man suit, did you feel like taking the mask off and doing the eight ball, hmm, did you feel like snorting a little coke when you were in the suit, tell us about it, you know what I'm saying, they don't really put him in a hot seat like that, so anyway, Rachel Nichols, she was drilling uh, Floyd Mayweather, now let's talk about Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather, I understand he's his own boss, he does what he wants, highest paid athlete. I get all of that. But due to a variety of reasons in my mind, I think him not graduating high school, just being a hood dude, um, sometimes he doesn't answer questions in a rational sense. Like he really needs to spend time with LRB, Al Heyman, someone who's business minded or get a really strong PR person because he's always in the hot seat. He likes being the villain or whatever, and I get that. But it's like sometimes you got to pick and choose how much of a villain you want to be. Sometimes less is more. Say less. And I think Mayweather breaches that line frequently. Like they're talking about Pacquiao. Okay, if you don't want to fight Pacquiao, you don't want to make the fight because you hate Bob Arum so much, cool, did it, let it be that. But he'll say purposely, say certain things just to get people talking. You know what I mean? And it, it's it's cool, but it also makes people hate you. You know what I mean? Or you ask Floyd Mayweather a direct fucking question. I'm like, hey, Floyd, <laughs> Eagles World 1, is it hot outside? Well, you know, Canelo, he's a hell of a fighter. And I'm getting $32 million just for this fight. My kids are every... Like, what the fuck does any of this have to do with is it hot outside? You know what I'm saying? And he purposely skirts around the issue. I get it. You're your own boss. You move to the sound of your own drum, whatever the fuck you want to call it. But within reason, sometimes just answer the fucking questions, plead the fifth, have a, a regular ass response. You know what I mean? 
That's why Mayweather is he's not the best person to interview. If you ask him something that makes him uncomfortable, then he's going to go off into something different. Like, hey, tell us about 50 Cent. Um, Chipotle, they got a burrito bowl and it's pretty good with barbacoa. Like, what does this have to do with anything, man? So Mayweather, he's not the, the best interviewer, if you will. Um, I don't know if it's the reading thing or whatever. He just sometimes he, he teeters on that line of, why did he say that? Like, I watch sometimes and listen to his interviews. I'm like, why did he say that? So the Ray Rice situation is hot. And being a celebrity in the public eye, and especially a self-proclaimed bad guy, they're gunning for you. They're looking for you to fuck up. They're looking for you. The media is looking for you to say some bullshit so they can spin your words or flip it. So you have to know that and be on your P's and Q's. He is, when he's in the ring, he's a brilliant fighter. And he's on his P's and Q's and he knows what, like, oh, my Don is trying to do that chopping right shit. Oh, he caught me in the third round. It's not going to happen again. But he doesn't have that same defense and that same skill set when it comes to doing an interview. I just, like, it's always, anytime it's a controversial subject and he's questioned about it, He's either going to skirt around the issue and not answer the question. Or a lot of times, it's he answers it and it's just like, why the fuck would you say that? I remember recently, the LA Clippers owner, Donald Sterling, was under fire for being racist. He hates Magic Johnson, woom de woom And people were like, there was an outcry. They're like, fuck him, Clippers. What? He's in LA, racist. Mayweather's like, uh, yeah, I've met Donald Sterling a bunch of times and he was cool to me. He always invited us to games. Like, <laughs> why would you say that? You know what I mean? There's certain things you do as a celebrity and certain things you don't. Sometimes, like I said, less is more. Me personally, like, let's say I'm a celebrity and they're like, Ego, what do you think about Robin Williams' death? I'm not going to be like, yo, niggas in the streets die every day, B. This shit happens all the time. Why you having candlelight vigils for this motherfucker just because he was Robin? Because this motherfucker was uh, Peter Pan? motherfucker was Mr. Doubtfire and all of a sudden we care like what about Mike Brown what about Lil Boo Boo from 15th and Lennox like I wouldn't do that I'm not gonna say that Robin Williams I would never say that anyway because Robin Williams is my dude but hypothetically it doesn't make sense to take a, a sensitive subject and say candid things you can't just say whatever the fuck you want especially not in America America is pussified we do you, you can go to McDonald's, buy coffee, put it in your lap, and drive reckless, spill it on yourself, and sue like, yeah, I didn't know this was that hot. You burned my testicles, and then sue and win. You know what I mean? And that's how America is. We're very sensitive. It's, oh, he shouldn't, don't say that. No, don't do it. It's not politically correct. You can't talk about, there's protected groups, um, like gay people and races, and you have to, t you have to tread lightly when you're a public figure so it doesn't get misconstrued or you know what i mean you don't offend people and that's just the way of the world and i feel like floyd doesn't really realize that or he doesn't care maybe maybe he's like oh yeah you know what i mean i make this much money i just don't give a fuck i'm gonna say whatever and be me and i'm not telling anybody to be fake but you gotta know when to to not be in the hot seat and when to be in the hot seat like it's cool you're doing a 24 7 all access and you want to be the bad guy but Ray Rice, why do you have to even comment on it? And you know some people already just, they hate anything bad about Mayweather, they're going to talk about. Mayweather, apparently he um, bought $25,000 worth of alcohol for his entourage, and he didn't leave the bitch with no tip. <laughs> he just, like, cut turf and just paid the bill and didn't tip her for that big of an order. You know what I mean? And this gets broadcasted like it's some real news. Like, there's, there's people with uh, Ebola viruses and shit, and... We're talking about Mayweather not leaving a fucking tip. Like, they, they're already gunning for you, man. You got to wisen up, learn the way of the world, learn when to play the bad guy, and sometimes when to just answer direct fucking questions. Let me know what you guys think of this topic, of uh, his comments about saying the NFL was too harsh on Ray Rice. And, you know what I mean? Anytime it's a situation like that, sometimes it's better just to say nothing, be like, only God can judge him or, you know what I mean? Keep it short and sick, like short and sweet instead of opening your mouth and putting your foot in your mouth. Let me know what you guys think of Mayweather's interviewing skills. Make sure you like my video as always hate, comment, or subscribe till next video's ego signing off.